now here's your host, Gabriel. All right, hello everybody. It is me, Gabriel, here for the eighth episode of the first season. Honestly, oh my god, now thinking about it, we're nearly done. It's going to be sad, you know, the final episode, but as I was saying and I was hyping up last episode, it's going to be a great episode. And this episode is also going to be a great episode because there are lots of things I want to talk about to you guys. We have some two amazing guests which are going to be joining us for an interview. And now, and we also have a Q&A session that I hosted on Twitter, and I have quite a few interesting questions that you guys might like. So, all right, it's time to get into it. So, okay, the first thing is I would like to talk about a Roblox airline called Air uh, Asalia. I'm not sure if I pronounced that uh, correctly. So, there has been a rumor, and it was... And, and it was announced by the airline, I may be wrong, that the, that their founder, it's called, uh, his, his username is, it's called, sadly passed away uh, a few days ago. I don't know, uh, I think, uh, I'm not sure, uh, if, if there are rumors that it was supposedly faked, but it is not confirmed. And I'd just like to, if, if this actually happened, I would like to uh, say I'm sorry for the loss. And uh, even though their founder, you know, uh, has, is sadly gone, Air uh, Asalia uh, hosted a comeback flight despite their tough times recently. Uh, I'm not sure. It's at uh, the, the server opens at 20 uh, p.m. Uh, that's uh, uh, 12 o'clock uh, GMT. It is today. I'm not sure if that already happened because of time zones. Uh, and I hope it went well if it already happened. And if it hasn't happened, I hope it goes well. So, uh, all right, guys. Uh, I'd just like to ask you if you could send support to the airline, to uh, their alliance, uh, to their allies, to their family, if you can. So, yes, just keep that in mind, guys. And, of course, uh, I am very, very proud of the airline. If this actually happened, of course, I am not confirming that this actually happened because I, I really, I am really not very, uh, very, very well informed on this situation. But if it actually happened, I would like to say uh, to the airline and the high ranks that you guys are very strong and that you've been doing an amazing job at handling the situation and uh, trying your best to, you know, take care of it. All right. So uh, that was a bit of a sad note. But uh, now I think it's time that we should move on with the show. And uh, I'm going to be walking with you guys. And we will be doing a live Q&A uh, from some questions that were asked to me on Twitter. So I'm going to walk around with you guys here in the audience. So hello. Uh, <laughs> hello, audience. So I'm going to ask you some questions that were sent to me on Twitter. I asked you yesterday. Even though I posted it relatively recently, I, I still have quite a few questions. So hello, everybody. Hello, guys. Oh, I, this guy looks like Danielsburg. I, I thought it was Danielsburg for a second, who's our wonderful producer. Hello, everyone in the audience. So uh, they are cheering here for our guests today. Uh, I really love to see support from the guests. So the first question is from Tom M. Crowder. And he asked yesterday, how much competence does it take running the show? <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is actually a very, very interesting question. So um, how much competence? Uh, a lot of competence. And not just from me. It's also competence from our wonderful camera operators, from our guests, of course, and uh, from everybody who takes part in the production. So, okay, I would just like to say hello to everyone. Oh, actually, I just noticed there's an... Air Asalia staff member here. So hello. <laughs> Say hello, guys. All right. So uh, I, sadly, I cannot read out your usernames because the names here are hidden. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I wish I could. So hello to everybody here in the audience. So next question is, uh, dear Gabriel, uh, this question comes from blue underscore ed. So it says, dear Gabriel, what do you think the future holds for tonight with Gabriel? 
do you think there will be a season two if you <laughs> and what will that hold by the way i think you should do like visits and tours of airports for future episodes or even like airline reviews okay so about season two we are planning on doing a comeback maybe a few months after we begin the after we finish this season which is in just two episodes because we're finishing off in episode 10 we're going to have a, a very special episode and hopefully we can get like a lot of guests and stuff and uh our guests and our wonderful audience of course who are cheering uh the show and the guests <laughs> hopefully they come also and support us so when it comes to the future of what we're actually going to do in uh <laughs> in that episode i am not sure and about season two uh, i am still uncertain maybe i'll change my outfit maybe we'll have a new studio and yes i, I will sign your head there are people asking me to sign their heads i will I will sign everyone's head. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to sign everyone's heads. No, only heads. All right. So next question. So um, th this one comes from Igor. Is, uh, or Igor. I'm not sure. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. How does it feel to be such an influential, uh, uh, quote unquote, graviator or whatever? Because I feel like so many people admire your work on your Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I, I'm not sure if I even count as a radiator. I just like to do projects and hopefully they go well. For example, this is one of my many projects. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite ones, of course, uh, because of the support that we have. And how does it feel? I think it's just a matter of knowing what you have to do each time. Yes, I, I will give you, okay, so I'm going to give uh, you a hug. You look pretty nice. And I'll also give you a hug and you. And you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So yes. Uh, so those are our questions for today. And uh, yes, I would like to uh, give everyone a big fat hug. So. Um, all right. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna go around. I'm not gonna have, hug everyone. I don't really have time. So okay, guys. Um, now it's time. For me to go back it was good having uh, you with you uh sweet audience yes <laughs> all right so okay guys uh now we're going to be doing uh bringing our wonderful two guests you're gonna see who they are so i would like to introduce to you the one and only well both uh Bad Boy 102305 and Dorian Arco. Welcome to this. Oh my god. Oh, right. Hi everyone. Hey, Hi. Hi. All right, guys. Hey, I'm so glad to have you here again. Uh, Bad and glad to have you here uh, for the first time, uh, it's Dorian. Good. So yeah, it's so good having you guys here. You you both have a lot of support. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I just like to ask you some questions for the show. So are you guys up for it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, you guys both own Roblox groups. Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, so Dorian uh, and Robert, uh, I'd like to introduce you to them. They both have very good uh, and big groups. And I, I'm going to ask them a few questions so you guys can, head more, can get more info on their group. So let's start with uh, Dorian. <laughs> so he's new on the show. So Dorian, so you the French Armed Forces, that's correct, That's right? correct. So I, I, I understand that it's a pretty big group, right? That's a pretty big group. That's um, the biggest French group in the in the community, probably in Roblox right now, uh, without wow. counting the YouTubers groups. Uh, our objective is to make a military universe uh, based on the French army inside of Roblox. Of course, everyone is welcome, even for Rhinos. Oh wow! All right, and uh, about you, Bad. 
Uh, can you give us a little quick insight to the group, to your wonderful audience? Oh, yes. Um, we own a district. It's very successful. As you can see, we have, like, a bunch of supporters in the audience. Well, um, we composed the four schools, as y'all last heard. It's called Honey Creek District. We have Honey Creek Elementary, Honey Creek Middle School, Honey Creek High School, and then we added on little clubs, daycare. And so they're all going very successful. Yeah. So you have a lot of clubs here, right? Yeah, that's great. Yes. So um, i just like yeah. to get into a few questions with you guys. So first of all, uh, I, I haven't really asked this to like anybody else. But I think it's something that's very important to address, and that's competition. So uh, I'll ask you both. Uh, I'll start with uh, with Dorian. Uh, do you have any competition between your community, like in of any type? Like, do you have like wars and stuff, or do you just compete against other French groups to see who gets more members, or how does it really work? Uh, actually, um, I'm going to talk about two competitions. The one, the first one, is in inside of the group. We have multiple branches which is the Navy, Air Force, Army, uh, Foreign Legion, and the police. Uh, all of them are trained their best to, to be the best branch of the group, even though, of course, they stay nice to each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they cooperate together. They, uh, uh, they do all the stuff together, operations, and everything else. The competitions in between the branches are either uh, with the development or the competence of each members. Now, uh, talking about the community, the modern military community, um, that's uh, that's a whole the thing. Like recently, we haven't been to, to war for because we don't really have enemies at, at, at that point. But how it works is just, is like we talk with the other leader. We set up some some terms for the war, rules and uh, and times where the raid will be held, and the ones that m wins the, the most raid. One wins the war. Uh, I mean, that's pretty simple. All right, all right. And about you, Pat, do you have any competition <laughs> in the school area? I know you're excited for this question, so we can address it. Well, <clears throat> yeah, there is. Um, the education community is not that big, but there is competition. Um, to clarify, the fake role play schools like Roblox and High School and all them, like they're not like us. Our teachers, we actually have to teach real life content, make lesson plans each week, et cetera, et cetera. Um, each school has like a specific set of fan base. For example, like our schools, we, our, my school, we get like seventy five to eighty people in like our sessions, which is a, that's a good, that's good considering we only have one session a day. Um, we also have like experienced some harmful competitors in the past, but they already banned from going beyond their possibilities to ruin our reputation. But you know, you have groups out there who try to bring you down. Um, our district has like one specific group who we just really don't we don't mix with a lot. Everybody knows like, um, comp like heavy competition, mate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we stay in our lane, but it's just like people come at you for the wrong reasons. They try, they try to come into your school and cause chaos, but we're over them, so. Oh, yeah. all right. All right. <laughs> That's interesting. That That's the part in middle school. Multiple groups. Multiple groups. People trying to bring down. It happened to me as well. It's pretty sad because it's absolutely disgusting for the leaders who are here. To, to work and maybe work with the other communities. However, some people are just here for their um, own ego, which is sad, honestly. All right, I see. That's that's pretty heavy. So I see you guys have two diff different types of competitions. And, uh, uh, and Dorian, I, I have a question that, that left me hanging a bit when you were mentioning the raids. Like, how do they work exactly? And what can cause a war between two row nations or two groups exactly? I am very uh, interested. Not, not true nations, it's uh, more than those three communities. And what can cause a war is either it's a friendly war, that's how I would call it. Uh, it's like we organize something to bring up activity in, in each group, or it's drama when both leaders start to, I'd say, insult each other and goes too far. So they decide to, of course, uh, finish that on battlefield. Now, uh, how a raid works, uh, it depends which maps you're going on, because 
each group has uh, a map for for its raids, for you know, for its attacks to receive the attack. It's called an FOB, forward operating base. Um, myself, it works with points to capture, and they have to keep it for a certain amount of time. And uh, if they don't uh, achieve the to uh, take them in, a, in another certain amount of time, they lose the raid. The raid. However, if the, they do uh, successfully all the points uh, until, like, for example, 45 minutes, one hour, then they win the raid. And uh, for each raid uh, between the groups, it's the wins the most raids, like the one, the most battles that will win uh, the war. Like in a battle, it's the strategy is very important. Well, it depends which FOB. Sometimes it's just you run and you shoot on people. Uh, but uh, on some FOBs, uh, aka some maps, uh, it's all about strategy. And it's something very interesting when you, you're leading multiple men on, on the battlefield. Right, right, right. That's, that's very nice. I, I didn't know it was that. Like, and. Uh, Do you know the I, I didn't know it was like that deep and complicated. That's actually very interesting. Uh, and all right, Matt, uh, I have some. I have a question for you that also left me hanging when you were mentioning the, you know, your stuff regarding your school. So, okay. Uh, so I think you have such a uh, like. How did you build this huge sense of community? Oh. In your school, I, I honestly I think it's really impressive. Well, um, our group. Started with the middle school. This started like three years ago. Um, at first, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what I was doing. But over time, we learned to gain ourselves together. And with the help of my former assistant superintendent, um, her name is Bailey. She kind of came. We came together and we helped bring up Honey Creek District because you know people thought that we weren't gonna get anywhere. But look at us now, and you know we have our district. She's gonna have her school. We're all successful. Um, we also get our popularity and our success from our active students, um, mostly from the SCBM and honors program because like they're the most active ones at our school. And then you have like all of our school clubs that help with our activity as well. So that's kind of how we got to where we are today. School clubs, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I. I... I had some connection issues. I don't know if you spoke about the school clubs, with, like uh, while you were speaking. But how do they how do they work exactly? The school well, clubs? our school clubs is ran by um, our dean of students, the club director. But right now we don't have our dean of students, so therefore I, I stepped up as the club's director. Um, whoever wants to start a club, they just fill out an application, and if it meets the requirements, we'll let them have our club. Our current clubs we have basketball, football, honor society. You have Heritage Club, and then our most active and popular club, we have Cheer. Um, each club is ran by either a captain or a coach. And so for our school, the Cheer is the most popular club there is, and I run that club alongside the captain, Jay Lee. She's out in the audience. Shout out to Jay Lee. But yeah. You guys have that competition in between the clubs. Not necessarily our clubs, but when it's our clubs versus other clubs, yes, we're not going to lie. Like, when our cheerleaders have to go against other cheerleaders outside of Honey Creek and our football players have to go outside other football players, it's just Ooh. sometimes it goes fine, but sometimes it's just something else. That's actually pretty cool. It reminds me of how, um, how Dorian was talking about, uh, like, his divisions in the armed forces. Like, they were subdivisions. Like, the uh, Navy, right. the armed it kind of reminds me of it. Like they have like friendly competition. Well, each ours other, right? is is very very more uh, developed. Uh, okay, like a branch is only I would say an army. Then in the army you have the divisions or squadrons or brigades. It all depends. And uh, even in the branches, there is there is competition in the branches between every divisions and. Um, and uh, uh, wait, yeah, every, between every divisions and, and brigades, it's very interesting to see. For example, sometimes we ask some competitions, uh, either combat competitions uh, or exercises between branches, 
and it's uh, it's really really fun to do. And All like right. every every branch is led by a group of people who are the generals, the uh, generals officers. So, for example, the navy has uh, the admiral, the vice admiral, and the counter admiral. Uh, the uh, the army has the army uh, general, divisional general, and brigade general, etc. All right. <laughs> So um, I would just like to give some quick shout outs to the audience, mm -hmm. to our uh, uh, Roblox Girl Who Gamer, uh, AC, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, shout out to you guys, and to Marcus. So now, uh, guys, are you ready for today's guest game? I'd like to explain that to you guys. So you, or now, uh, so our guest game is uh, called Don't Say It. So you guys are going to be speaking about a random topic. You're going to be speaking about a very simple topic, which I have decided that it's going to be uh, competition in Roblox in general, oh. just in general. It doesn't have to be in your group, just in general, any type of competition. Oh, so right. that's already picked uh, the forbidden word that the other player cannot say. All right. So I have a timer. I have it here on my phone. And each person speaks in terms of one minute. They have to speak uh, now. Let's walk into our podiums. I'm going to be using the middle one. You can take the ones that you like. All right. So, who wants to start? Go ahead, Bat. Okay, I'll start. Go ahead. So I'll, I'll tell you when to start. I'll, I'll do the timer. All right, so I'm ready when y'all are. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, so ready? <laughs> Your forbidden word's pretty funny, not gonna lie. So, yeah. Good luck. Okay. Three, two, one, begin. Okay, so when well, we talk about competition in the Roblox education community, you have to look at it different ways. Like, people who try to compete with you, you don't necessarily look like if you're in middle school, we don't necessarily compete with high schools and elementary schools. You'll compete with people in your same grade levels and so we have like honey creek sadly we have like this one group who can't seem to not leave us um river park middle school you know we had we were allies at once but short term a long story short short we are now lie and then river park felt target they, they felt they got triggered and so they started coming for us they still are coming for us to this day but we ignore them so like it's fine. Like the competition goes everywhere outside of Roblox. Like Twitter, Twitter is just like Twitter's the most. But Honey yeah. Creek still doing good at the end of the day. So that's all that matters to us. That all that matters to me and my group. All right, ten seconds. No way that you did say that. But all right. Yeah, I, I am, yeah, I am that's impressed. Me. <laughs> that is impressive. Uh, all right, so. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil the forbidden word. Don't don't spoil it, guys. Don't spoil each other. So, Dorian, your turn. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Begin. There are uh, different types of uh, competitions in uh, in the modern military community. There is the nice competition, which is like we we do uh, development Be contests or other what. One strike. You said you said the word. I don't tell you which one it is. Oh God! <laughs> I said the word. Yes. You keep going. You keep going. You have to keep All going. Right. You have a chance. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, uh, uh, there are different types of <laughs> I'm gonna slap you. I you swear I'm it. gonna run after you on the stage, okay? <laughs> no beep. No 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 fudging beep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no beep. Okay, so like I said there are different types of competition who are uh, uh so sorry. <laughs> Okay, I got one minute. When we're at level four, uh, bad boy. Now it's his turn. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be uh, your turn now, bad boy. So ready when you are. <laughs> we're, the same, we're talking about Three. the same topic. 
same topic, always same topic. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, so this, um, we have another type of competition when we like when we're at our school club. So, like for example, how I was telling y'all earlier about cheerleaders, like our cheerleaders, we don't necessarily have competition. We only have one group of cheerleaders who we get along with. Our cheerleaders only get along with the Soto cheerleaders, the Soto High School. But other than that, other cheerleaders, every time we approach them, we kind of like, they kind of get triggered too quickly for us. And so that's what creates competition in our cheer clubs. And, you know, we maintain it. All right. Um, I'm going to round it up. I'm going to tell you which one was uh, each person's forbidden word. So, uh, <laughs> that your forbidden word was yes. I don't know how you missed that. God. God. I don't know how you missed that. And Dorian, your forbidden word was, it was like. Cold. It was like. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Twitter is bad. You know what? I, I would have talked in French. That would have been better. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, I said it's like. A, it was like. So, honestly, that was pretty funny. That I, I didn't expect to go that well all right guys so i'd just like to thank you so much for joining this show today it was so fun honestly uh thank you pat and thank you, Mark. So now let's just sit back down and so we can have our final goodbye so did you guys enjoy it yes it was very nice all right so uh hopefully maybe we can each other again in a future episode maybe in episode 10 so all right guys uh yeah honestly you guys have uh bring the, the show so much to talk about and i would like to thank you and the audience for coming and we'll see you on the next episode of tonight with gabriel in two weeks from now goodbye guys <laughs>